You're probably here to find out what happens to your recyclables after you set them out for collection. Well, let me tell you, you came to the right place. Welcome to the Green Waste Recovery Material Recovery Facility. Today, we'll go over what it is we do here at the Material Recovery Facility, or MRF for short. We'll be looking at the Recyclables MRF, which is just one of the three processing facilities here at Green Waste. We also have a Garbage MRF and a Yard Waste MRF, but we'll save those for our next tour. The Recyclables MRF is currently processing about 1,000 tons of single stream recyclables every day and recovers over 95% of those recyclables. The process starts here at the scale. Trucks are weighed in once they arrive and again after they are emptied. The difference is the number of recyclables that are delivered to us to be sorted and processed. Recyclables are brought in by collection trucks with material from both homes and businesses. Sorters will take the first look at the material while it is still on the tip floor. They'll pull out any large recoverable items and contaminants that can later get caught in the machines. Using bucket loaders, the material is fed into the metering bin where it is then spread onto the conveyor belt to begin its journey through the MRF. Once on the conveyor belt, the first stop is the pre-sort stations where sorters remove contaminants, large items, film plastic, bag shredded paper, and rigid plastic before the material goes through any of the machines. During this initial pre-sort process, unopened bags are also removed and tossed down a chute where a bag breaker mechanically opens the bags and the conveyor belt reintroduces the material to that same pre-sort line. Following the pre-sort stations, the OCC disc screen is used to separate cardboard from the recycling stream. OCC stands for Old Corrugated Containers. The OCC screen uses a series of rotating discs designed to sort the material by allowing paper and other objects to fall through the disc while the pieces of cardboard float over the top and onto a conveyor belt that leads to a quality control sort station before going into a bunker for later bailing. Directly under the OCC screen, glass falls onto debris roll screens, separating glass from the rest of the material and moving it into a glass cleanup system before it is hauled away to be further processed at a glass processing facility. The polishing screens, like the OCC screen, have a series of rotating discs that are set to separate the different types of material. These discs can be adjusted as needed. Currently, there are three polishing screens. Two screens are set to separate newsprint while the other is set to separate mixed paper. The newsprint or mixed paper floats over the top and onto conveyor belts while the plastic and metal containers fall back. After each screen is a quality control station where sorters remove any film plastic or contaminants. Having vacuums directly over the post sort stations helps them remove film plastic more efficiently from the rest of the recyclables. The plastic and metal containers, after falling back, continue onto the electromagnetic separator where a large magnetic conveyor belt attracts ferrous metals. As the conveyor belt rotates, the material is released once it reaches the discharge point. These metals go through a post-sort station and into a bunker for later bailing. The remaining containers continue on. Plastic containers go through infrared sorting systems that separate plastic containers by the type of material they're made of. We have a series of three optical sorters set to separate PET beverage containers, HDP color and natural containers, and plastic containers numbers 2 through 7. After each optical sorter is a quality control station where sorters will pull off any material that isn't PET, HDPE, or plastics 2 through 7. Non-ferrous metals such as aluminum cans are separated using the eddy current separator by using a strong magnetic field to repel aluminum from the incoming material. After the eddy current separator, sorters will remove any contaminants or remaining recyclables from the scrap aluminum. Once the material has been sorted, we have two baler machines that are used to prepare the material for the market. Both machines can be adapted to be used for various types of material, and with the computer systems connected to the material bunkers, we can see when there's enough material accumulated for baling. After the material has been sorted and baled, forklifts load the material onto outbound trucks which take the material to plastic processors, paper mills, or other end users so that the recycled material can be made into new products. We hope you enjoyed this tour of the Recyclables MRF. Be sure to check out our website for more information and photos and stay tuned for our next MRF tour.